Hi, this is John Paul Gidry with Gidry Golf and Sport. Today I want to talk a little bit about uh, my favorite exercises to use in building strength and power, uh, you know, with the goal of adding distance to your game as well as benefiting your overall health and well-being and protecting you against injury. So my take on this is I like to build strength in the basic human movements. Those movements are a squat movement, a hinge or a deadlift movement, uh, and for the upper body, some push and pull movements. And that can be broken down into a horizontal push, horizontal pull, I mean, vertical push, as well as a horizontal pull, or vertical pull. We'll get that right. Um, so building strength in those movements is a good baseline to start. Obviously, there are way, many other ways you can go with that, but that's where I like to start, especially for people that are novices or new to the gym. So I'm going to show you a couple of my favorite exercises today in each of those movements uh, and talk about some of the other variations you can use. So the first movement we're going to look at is a squat. I'm going to demonstrate a goblet squat today, which you can do with a uh, kettlebell or dumbbell. There are many other variations such as two-handed dumbbell squats, front squats with a barbell, back squats with a barbell, low bar, high bar. Um, so a lot of variations, but I like the goblet squat especially for beginners. So what you're going to do with this? <coughs> Take a weight, hold it in front of your chest. The squat movement, we're thinking of moving up and down. So you're gonna drop that rear end down, keeping those elbow ends, I like to tuck them in between the knees, back up. Nice solid trunk position, not getting too far, too back. Keeping good balance in, back up. I'll show you that from the side. Again, good easy squat variation. All you need is a dumbbell, a kettlebell, or really any weight you can hold. <clears throat> Next we're going to look at is the hinge or the deadlift. Again, multiple variations you can use here. Uh, we've got, you know, we're going to show you a little kettlebell deadlift. You can do dumbbells, barbell, especially, and then you can vary the, the stance variations with that. So what I'm, I like to use a kettlebell, again, for beginners. Tougher movement to learn sometimes, but this seems to be an easier way for me. So now we're thinking about the, the hips moving forward and back rather than up and down. So you're going to sit back, grab the weight, stand up, back down. If you're limited with that, you can always bring the weight up towards you, put it on the box. Or start from the top, go down as far as you can, come back up, more of an RDL type of movement. And again, with this movement, we're thinking of hips moving forward and back. Keep it a nice neutral spine, not getting rounded, not getting too arched. Again, some single leg variations of those movements. Again, the squat would be more of a lunge or split squat. Again, moving up and down. The deadlift would be more of a single leg deadlift. Back up, challenging more, a little bit of balance, stability. Uh, again, you can add some weight to these as well. For the upper body, Again, we look at push-pull, a bunch of variations of this, such as push-ups, bench press variations, and then overhead pressing for the push, pulls, all the various row variations, and pull-downs, pull-ups. I'm going to show you some simple basic ones. So for the push, we'll do some push-ups. For the pull, we'll do a little single arm row. So push-ups, again, nice solid position here. I like the hands a little more narrow, a little bit outside shoulder width. Up into the top position, you want to be squeezing those glutes, not be here, getting that back flat. And you're going to keep that position as you go down and up. Going to the full range, not letting that sag. Again, a good solid, don't need a lot of equipment. Easy for people to do, easy to learn. Main thing is maintaining that position throughout. For the row, we'll sing alarm row. So again here, kind of engaging the trunk there, rowing up. So what you don't want to see is that shoulder dip forward too much. And you don't want to be cheating with the body. So nice, use a weight you can control here, back down. Again, multiple variations of that, whether it's cable rows, barbell rows, single and double arm, uh, dumbbell rows, kettlebell rows as well. Main thing is that pulling, pushing, pulling, pushing, working in both planes. All right? So
So on top of that, I like to get people moving fast. Again, there are multiple ways we can do that. If you're a more advanced lifter, kettlebell swings, Olympic lifts. If you're not, things like jumps and metal, medicine ball tosses will work as well. I'm going to show you a couple jump variations that you can use today. So the first one, simple little squat jump, just like it's called, squat, jumping up, land on soft knees, squat, land on soft knees. The next one will be a standing long jump or some bounding. So now we're moving forward here. So land on soft knees, land on soft knees. Exerting that power, moving as fast as you can, putting that strength to work. So again, you know, we all kind of see the benefits of strength as adding distance, but you know, in my opinion, just as important is the protection, the resiliency it builds in your body, the protection against injury, especially the repetitive type injuries uh, that are common in golf. So building a solid strength base will not only uh, help you play without pain, help you play longer, add a few yards to your game, help you enjoy the game even more. So if you enjoyed this video, if you have any questions, reach out to me at johnpaul at gidrypt.com. You can find out more about us at www.gidrygolfandsports.com. Thanks for watching.